not knowing when the next season is going to happen, I have to find out what am I going to do with my career. Yo, 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 what's poppin'? It's about three o'clock, another day in quarantine. What's, what, what day it is, do you know? Uh, Wednesday, April 22nd. What so day in like quarantine? Almost two months. That's it's about two months in quarantine. So, same old thing, man. Locked up in the house, working out, doing a bunch of reading. Today we're about to get some plyometrics in. Gonna do some jumping, a lot of jumping and balance things, you know, to keep busy, keep in shape, stay in focus during this quarantine. Let's get to it. Hey yo, that's tyrant of the time. hot out there got some good work in did a lot of jumping a lot of balance work today you know the off season so it's officially the off season so I'm taking off from a lot of the conditioning and I'm doing a lot more strength exercises working on my balance and you know building that foundation up again so I can be ready for the next season thing is don't know when the next season is gonna happen so I'm just preparing, staying ready, you know, doing the best that I can with the situation that's at hand. What? Not knowing when the next season is gonna happen, I have to find out what am I gonna do with my career. I'm at the end of my contract. Uh, I played three years for Adi Blue in France, and it's the end of the contract, and I'm out of a job after this season. So. Um, it's a lot of options on the table. I've done pretty well out here. But now the question is, do I stay in this country or do I venture off to someplace else? The thing is, I know that a lot of teams are gonna start hitting me with the, we're gonna have to pay you less because of the virus. And I understand that, you know, everyone is affected by this virus, but some teams can be able to pay you really well it just might not be in a country that you want to play in and so i don't know what should i do the thing is i've played in this country for five years and i've been pretty successful all five years but yet you know i'm still very undervalued and if you look at the past teams i played on when i left all of them went up all of them their program was changed and I think there's a lot of value in that. It's not a coincidence that when I play on the team, they win. That's not me being cocky, it's just me being honest. And you know, me coming from 
America to Europe to play the game that I love, it's a big sacrifice. I got my little cousins that's growing up. I got my mother, she's aging, but she's a young 70. Like, I got nieces and nephews that I barely know because I've been over here all this time. My god kids, I don't even have a relationship with them. So it's a big sacrifice coming over here. And you know, my sister's pregnant right now. So all of this is going into my mentality this summer to what should I do? Cause I know if I come back to France, I'm gonna get a pay cut. If I play in the top division, I know they're not gonna pay me like a top player. So I'm not trying to prove myself. I'm at a point where I'm not trying to prove myself when I've proven myself for a long time over here. So now I'm in a place where I'm just being patient, you know, seeing what comes at me and I'll move accordingly. But that's the tough part about playing European basketball or overseas. You know, a lot of contracts are short term. So you constantly have to find a job. So for me, I know I'm gonna be like I was last summer in some of the best shape of my life. You know, with my girl, we are eating a certain way and training a certain way that's gonna give me an advantage. And like I said before, I'll give you guys a PDF on how I'm doing that and how I'm gonna continue doing that so you guys can, you know, try it out for yourself. Trust me, it works. But um, yeah, going forward with my career, it's up in the air. <laughs> I, like, I don't know what's next, you know. I played for a pretty good team for the last three years. When I say good team, like a good situation. Um, our GM was young, he played professional basketball and he's pretty much the only guy I speak about basketball with because he's very knowledgeable. But so he understands, he knows how to relate to us as players a little bit better. Coach was a, few, was a player, he can relate. You know, the GM, I don't, like he's just a cool dude. So it's just like everything, the fans, you know, they're fans. When you're winning, they love you. When you're losing, they hate you. But you got your core fans that they don't care about the game. You're always cool. And those people are amazing here in Blue Eye. So it's like, ah, I want to come back for sure. <laughs> but it's like, you got to do what's best for you, you know, and your family and your life. So I'm just at that point right now, man, where I'm just pretty confused but still motivated, and I'm just gonna see where it goes. But I know wherever I go, you know, I'm gonna make them pay. But the uncertainty is not something I like, you know, but what can I do? It's a virus, it's a pandemic. So there's not much I can do at this point, but it's gonna be fun. I'm interested to see what's next for me and y'all, because everywhere I go, she goes. But let me know what y'all think. Where should I go? What should I do? Should I stay put? Should I leave? Um, you know, getting you guys' perspective is good, but give me some feedback, man. Besides that, subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date with everything I got going on and make them pay and live a truth life.